Hey there, welcome back. My name is Chris. I am a local realtor here with Keller Williams Realty. And today we're going to be talking about why all those homes and households in forbearance are not going to become foreclosures. No, they're not. If you've been waiting to buy a home so that you can pick up one of those great foreclosure deals, you might want to keep watching this video and maybe rethink that plan of yours. Are you one of those buyers waiting for a bunch of foreclosures to hit the market and bring home values down? Or maybe you're waiting for a bunch of foreclosures to hit the market so that you can get one of them at a discount. There has been a lot of discussion about what will happen once those 2.3 million households that are in forbearance are no longer protected by that program. Some people assume there could be millions of foreclosures ready to hit the market. However, there are four reasons that that is not going to happen. Let's take a look at those. Number one, almost 50% of households which leave the forbearance program do so already caught up on their payments. According to Mortgage Bankers Association, MBA, data from March 28th of this year shows that 48.9% of households which leave forbearance are caught up on their payments through one of three different means. 26.6% of those made their monthly payments during their forbearance period. 14.7% brought past due payments current and 7.6% paid off their loan in full. Now, this doesn't mean that the more than 2 million households currently in the plan will exit the plan in the same way. However, it does give us some insight into the possibilities of what could happen with these 2.3 million houses. Number two, this is very important. The banks do not want to foreclose on these homes. Banks learned their lesson in 2008, and let me tell you, having worked with foreclosures back then, they didn't want the homes then either. But they've really, really learned their lesson since then, and they're working very closely with homeowners to make sure that they have home ownership retention and that homeowners keep their homes rather than just willy-nilly throwing out foreclosures left and right. Everybody gets a foreclosure. Yeah, that's not going to happen this time. Banks don't want that to happen. As an example, in 2008, FHFA worked with 208,000 households to keep them in their homes. And they did that through a variety of means. They did it with temporary forbearance, um, repayment plans, loan modifications, all kinds of different ways that they could help homeowners stay in their homes. This time, they have already worked with more than a million homeowners doing the same thing to help them stay in their homes. And if that doesn't show you that banks just don't want those houses, they don't want your home. If that doesn't show you that, I'm just not really sure what will. Today, almost all lending institutions are working with their borrowers. Of the homeowners who have left forbearance, 35.5% have worked out a repayment plan with their lender. 26.5% were granted a loan deferral where a borrower does not have to pay the lender interest or principal on a loan for an agreed period of time. And 9% were given a loan modification of some sort. Number three, foreclosure on homes just is not a political thing. It's just not a good political move right now. Just like banks are pretty determined not to let their borrowers lose their homes, the federal government is pretty determined to keep families in their homes as well. Bloomberg recently reported mortgage companies could face penalties if they don't take steps to prevent a deluge of foreclosures that threaten to hit the housing market later this year. 
mortgage services should start reaching out to affected homeowners now to advise them on ways they can modify their loans. The CFPB is also proposing a new set of guidelines to help people retain their homes. There is a little bit of controversy about that, about whether or not the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has the ability to change things about foreclosures and a decision has not quite yet been made, but I will post all of the details in a link below so that you can see what the new guidelines would be if it goes through. And number four, and probably super important, there is so much equity in homes right now that most homeowners can sell their homes rather than letting their homes go into foreclosure, even if they haven't made the payments, even if they're in pre-foreclosure. Homeowners today have a record level of equity. According to CoreLogic, the average equity in a mortgaged home is $204,000. Plus, 38% of homes in this country don't even have a mortgage to begin with. Just like the banks and the federal government, Homeowners have learned their lesson from the 2008 crash. A lot of people still remember the uncertainty, the unemployment, the foreclosures, the, the general hardships that so many families went through, and they are not willing to repeat that. This probably explains why there are so many mortgage-free households in the United States right now. So what does this mean for the forbearance situation? Well. Only one in 10 homes has less than 10% equity in their homes. And that is the minimum amount of equity that a homeowner has to have in the home in order to really be able to sell it through trad traditional means. This means that 90% of people who own a home in the United States have enough equity in their home, even if they're about to go into foreclosure, that they can sell the home and they can avoid all of the stuff that comes with foreclosures. So of course, selling really shouldn't be a problem. The bottom line is that the reports of massive foreclosures on the way are massively exaggerated. Massively. Ivy Zellman, the CEO of Zellman & Associates, who has been covering the housing industry and housing related industries for the past 30 years, has stated that the likelihood of another foreclosure crisis like we saw in 2008 happening now is pretty much none. Zip, zilch, nada. Not happening. And many real estate professionals, including yours truly, believe that to be true as well. So if your plan as a buyer is to wait for prices to go into the tank and for foreclosures to hit the market and really drive everything down so that you can buy something at a discount, um, you might be waiting a really long time for that to happen. It's not going to happen anytime soon. If you're ready to talk about other options besides that one, give me a call. Let's have a chat. Let's talk about what those other options are. Call me at the phone number here. And of course, as always, if you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Share this video with your friends and family who might also find it useful. And for that elusive YouTube algorithm, please give us a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I really appreciate you guys spending a little bit of time with me here today, even if we disagree on this particular point, and I know a lot of you probably do disagree with me on this, that's okay. But I do appreciate your time and spending your time here with me watching this video. Thank you so much. Have a great day.